American Fiesta 2022. <laughs> Organized under the team where talents meet. Confiesta was introduced by the faculties of Commerce and Management Department in the year 2016 with an aim to promote the true spirit of competition and to test the artistic mental abilities of the students. Confiesta is also aligned with the vision of Tetsu College, which is to create an impact, positive impact in the world. As this fast, looks to help students develop and bring to fore their skills and boost confidence within themselves in various ways, enabling them to follow the right trajectory in their coming years. It is also a platform to let students create memories together, memories that will live rent free forever. This year, we have entered the seventh edition of Confiesta, and this is also the very first offline edition since the pandemic in 2019. So we are truly excited and very honored to have the participation of 13 schools and colleges this year. They are Unity College, CH College, SD Jane Women's College, Pranabhananda Women's College, St. Joseph's College, Jakama, Delhi Public School, City College of Arts and Commerce, Public College of Commerce, Ram Janaki Higher Secondary School, Patkai Christian College, St. Joseph's University, Chumukdima, Livingstone Foundation International, and yes, of course, that's a college. We are also extremely grateful to our sponsors for the support and generosity that has enabled us to, you know, make this Confesta even better. And this year, we have a list of many sponsors. They are Nagling Coffee, Hetika Cafe, Cafe Jeju Island, Cat's Wedding Collection, Island Low, Illumi Skin and Aesthetic, iPhone Hub Nagland, Naga Hut, Naroki, Hill Star Dimapur, Helpline Tours and Travel, Quality Work Furniture, SP Mobile Shop, Coco Berry, Madras Cafe, Sports Hub, Baskin Robbins, Jenny's Habiliment, New You, Fusion Dimapur, Hornbill TV, Annapurna, Flavors Restaurant, Twice New, Battle Light, Maverick Dream, Sapient Wild, Synergy Systems, and our alumni and various individuals. So let us all give a round of applause for the schools and colleges and our sponsors. Thank you once again. Now before we start off anything, here is another announcement and also a reminder to all the schools and colleges participating that there will be points given for your discipline and we will also have a winner for the best discipline team. Therefore, I request each one of you to maintain your discipline and be the winner at the end of the session. Let us all look to God in prayer. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you and praise you for this beautiful day. We thank you for the life. Now, we will have the welcome address by our principal, Dr. Hawasa Elkin. I give her the time. Good morning, everyone. Our respected chairperson, uh, our honorable special guests for this morning, Professor Dr. D. Nana Durai, the Vice Chancellor of St. Joseph University. Uh, our faculty, staff, uh, students, and all, all of our participating institutes and staff who are visiting Tetsuo College for the first time or here to witness the Confiesta for, from the previous sessions too, I warmly welcome all of you to Tetsuo College to the Tetsuo College campus and to the Tetsuo College community. We welcome you with great joy because Confiesta 2022 has been a long-awaited program. I know the students and staff have been preparing hard for this day and the excitement that has been building up uh, has been um, so strong the past few days. 
So we're very excited and we're very happy to be having as many as about 13 institutes, colleges as well as schools attending the Con Fiesta this year. We're also happy to be having the winners of our Con Fiesta 2021. Our reading champions are St. Joseph College Jacama. Thank you for coming again. And we also have the runners up, the Delhi Public School. They were the runners up of Con Fiesta 2021 and we're so glad that you could be participating this year as well. We look forward to seeing who the overall champions will be for Con Fiesta 2022. We have a lot of exciting events and programs lined up for you all. And so as you, we take this time to participate and engage and learn from one another, I'd like to extend this warm welcome and invite you all to our Tetsuo College campus once again. For those of you who may be not strangers to the campus, you know your way around already. For those of you who are new, feel free to reach out to our volunteers, to any student over here, and let this be your campus for today. That's so college has been envisioned as a place for big dreamers, deep thinkers, and effective and impactful doers. It's a place where we believe in students coming together, challenging yourselves to become better versions of yourselves through the various competitions that you will be participating in today. It is our hope that you will be able to explore your talents, discover new ones, and be able to express your most original, true, natural self through the events that have been planned for you all today. We look for students that are driven and focused, enthusiastic and excited about life. And this is what Confiesta is all about, to bring that student community together to compete in a healthy spirit, in a positive spirit, and to be able to learn from one another. It is not just about winning, but it is about learning from the different events and programs that are being planned. So I hope that when you go back today, you will exit this campus taking this positive energy, this drive, and this focus to keep on succeeding, competing, and learning. Whether it is whether you win or lose, we believe that we're all meant to be here today to experience and to grow as humans. So thank you for participating. On that note, I would just like to wish everyone all the very best, and I hope that you find what you are looking for as you participate in this Confiesta 2022. Thank you very much. I'm strong when 
and principal of Tesco College and faculty members, students and participants from other institutions, a very good morning to you all. I'm really happy to stand before you in this uh, occasion and I feel it honored to be here and I thank the management, the principal as well as the director for giving me this opportunity to address the gathering. My dear students, just I will talk to you for 10 minutes. I don't want to take more time. Why I'm telling the previously means many speakers, they are going on talking. Then the audience will be getting frustration when this man will complete his speech like that. So just I will take 10 minutes to address you. So I really feel getting energized just by seeing the young minds of this institution and other institutions. During our time, we were not having such type of talents, such, uh, such type of occasions. I'm talking about the time of 80s, because that time, the number of institutions are very minimum. In a district, one or two is, were there. But nowadays, it is not like that. You are having a lot of opportunity. You are having so many institutions and you are having so many opportunities to expose your talents. I think this, of the, this is the one of the occasions to expose your talents. So in this context, I would like to convey an important message to you all. So nowadays, the talents or the quality of a student is being decided by the grade system or the class what he is getting. It is not like that. You don't bother about what is the mark you are getting. But of course, the minimum requirement is the pass mark. Don't go below that. But you don't always aim at the A grade. If you are not getting the A grade, don't bother about that. If you are getting C grade or D grade, be happy with that one. But the very important thing is you identify your talents. Because each personality, each human being is having their own talents. Don't compare yourself with others. I don't know whether any parents are there here or not, or at least the faculty members. You also don't compare one person with the other students. Each student is having his own uniqueness. They are having their own talent. So you, the student should first identify his talents. And similarly, the faculty members also should make the students to identify the talent. And then that talent should be enriched then only you will come up with your life. Then only you set up your bright future. Many of the parents, they are willing to make their ward as a doctor or engineer, but the son or daughter may want to become a musician or something else. So there is a conflict. So that is the main drawback of this our society because the life of the students is decided by somebody else. The parents or the people in the society or relatives. So you identify your talents and you enrich that one. Then definitely you will come up in our life. Because God is, has given talent to all. But the talent are in a different nature. The second thing I want to emphasize is it is very important to improve your practical knowledge. Nowadays, when you are going, students are going out of the institution, they are having a degree in their hand, BA political science or BA economics, something like that. This is the certificates for the purpose being issued is that you have completed a graduate in a specialization, that's all. It is just a paper. But what knowledge you have gathered during your studying is very important. 
what knowledge you have acquired, what experience you got during your study period. That should be very useful for getting your employment or making your future a good thing. Many of us, our purpose of getting a degree is to get a good job. And after getting a good job, getting a good wife or husband and uh, having a decent life. This is our main aim. This is our normal human being or students, their aim or objective. But you think beyond that one. So whenever you are studying, you always concentrate in research. Nowadays, our uh, national education policy and the UGC and HRD, all the organizations, they are very much interested in promoting the research. Because research is very important. Research in the sense, don't think about uh, that is a very high thing. Even in the plus two level, even in the UG level, you can do a small research and you can find something. Then you, you will be automatically motivated by yourself. I have found this one. Then you can present that one in some gathering or some occasion. Then you will be getting, getting motivated. Then you can go deep into the research. Then finally, you can achieve something different. Don't think that the research means it is a PhD or something else. The research can be started from the school time itself. You know about the Bill Gates. He is the founder of the Microsoft. He started his research from his plus two level itself. He did lots, but he is a dropout student in the college. Do you know that? He is a dropout student in the college. But he has identified his potential. He concentrated in that one. He started his research during the school time itself. Slowly he developed. So at the age of 21, with a small team, he has created the Microsoft. Now you know what is the potential or what is the turnover of the Microsoft company. So research doesn't mean that a big thing. It can be started from a very small thing. So you always concentrate on the research. It is very, very useful for you. And you always think that, don't think that after the graduation we have to go some employment like that. Don't confine your thinking like that. You think uh, entrepreneurship, because this is, I think, it is the management and commerce. No. You don't think about uh, employment. Think about creating employment. If you create employment, then you will be employer. Then you can give employment to many people. In that way, you have to think. So my dear students, I think you enjoy this uh, talents uh, uh, search, the, where the talents meet. You expose your talents and uh, getting an award or getting a first prize or second prize is not at all a problem. If you get a first prize, you enjoy it. Suppose you are not getting, then you learn why I am not getting. You learn from that your failure. The next time you perform well. Normally, the human beings are very much accustomed to, accustomed to manage their successfulness. Once they are getting success, then they will celebrate. But they are very poor in handling the failures. But we should be strong enough to handle our own failures. Because failures are the real teachers. If you fail anything else, then only you can learn why I am failing in that one. What is the reason? Then you can learn more. The next time you can b perform better. And you can, again you can uh, have a success. So you always keep the failures as a stepping stones of your success. So my dear student, before concluding my speech, I would like to give a small uh, quote. I think I don't know where I read that one. See, keep your mind a very strong one. If you keep your mind weak, the situation will be difficult for you. If you keep your mind a balanced one, then the situation is uh, challenging for you. But if you keep your mind a strong one, then the situation becomes an opportunity for you. Can you understand? That is why many people, they are keeping their mind very strong during the COVID time. Then the situation is an opportunity for them, very particularly for the software engineers. Because, you know, the software, that is a, that, uh, software engineering 
field is a very important field. It is having many employ employees. During that COVID period, they suffered lots, but they kept their mind very strong. Then they take that critical period as an opportunity by developing the online softwares, attending the online examination, then again it becomes a booming industry. So you, if you keep your mind very strong, whatever may be the situation, it will create an opportunity for you. So my dear students, just like keeping your body beautiful or strength and one, keep your mind also very strong. It will help you to make your life a very brightful one. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for speaking to us in such a nurturing manner and also for, you know, speaking to us and believing in us that we will someday grow into somebody to be remembered in the future. We are truly grateful. Uh, before we go ahead with the competitions and events, I also would like to uh, give a quick announcement that we have our media partners from Hornbill TV and Naglin Post this event. So may we all give a round of applause for our media partners. <laughs> 